And it's Jay Real once again at Texas Frightmare Weekend 2009. This is Sunday, last day of the convention, and I'm here with Mr. Mal Arnold. Of course, Fuad Ramsey's in Blood Feast. And uh, uh, how are you enjoying Dallas so far? I love it. It's my first trip to Dallas. Uh, I've never been to, to Texas before at all. So this is the first chance I've had to see uh, the, the big state. And I'm, and I'm thrilled. Well, we had a big storm down here last night, yes, but we, we survived it. And uh, We could use it in Florida because Florida right now is having a drought. So we could, if we could send some to South Florida, we'd appreciate it. <laughs> We're, right now, we're not having a drought in Dallas <laughs> or in Texas, but uh, we often are. But uh, we, we could certainly use the rain, but we yeah. can't. Use, we, we could do without the tornadoes exactly. and the, uh, exactly. uh, uh, the severe stuff. But anyway, uh, so tell us real, real quick, Mr. Arnold, how you uh, started a relationship, working relationship with Mr. Herschel Gordon Lewis. Uh, I was up in, in, in New York. Uh, I was doing some off-Broadway at the time because I started out on stage. And uh, it's a, uh, New York's a tough town to get, to get really rolling in. My agent called me on the phone and said, um, Herschel Gordon Lewis uh, was in South Florida and uh, auditioning for parts for Blood Feast. And would you like to audition? And I said, I would love to. And so I flew back immediately. And uh, the uh, part that, that Herschel had me uh, uh, auditioning for was not the lead, was a small part. But he liked my auditioning so well, he offered me the lead. And I said, that's great. Uh, they were really looking for an older type person, uh, John Carradine, uh, 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 kind of a Peter Laurie kind of a person. But they felt that even though I was young at the, very young at the time, they could make me look older. And so they, they did. And uh, the part fit like a glove. And uh, I enjoyed every minute of it. And uh, it became the first cult film ever, ever made, uh, first gore film. So I, I'm, I'm very, very happy that it caught on. Yes, uh, Mr. Lewis uh, uh, pretty much invented the, the gore film, as you said. Exactly. And it became a, a perennial at the right. drive-ins. Um, it did. And, and, and of course, the, the, the effects, the disembowelings and the heart uh, removals and right. such, right. You, you, wouldn't call the, you wouldn't exactly call those effects uh, cutting edge, no pun intended. Right. Uh, but they were effective, and they worked, they were. Uh, you know, particularly for that time. For that year of uh, time, it was something entirely new. Uh, people were appalled at it. I mean, they were, people would get sick in the theater and uh, run out, and uh, they, they, they couldn't believe it what they were seeing. But it was the beginning of the of the, the gore movies that uh, followed Friday the Thirteenth, Halloween, all these other movies followed afterwards, and I think they followed in the footsteps of uh, of Blood Feast. Oh, no, no doubt about that. And and uh, <coughs> tell us about you know the sort of the, the directing style of, of Herschel Gordon Lewis. Well, how, how was he to work with? Well, he was, he was uh, pretty steadfast in his ideas. Um, I tried to suggest a few things to him, but he wanted to direct it a certain way. Uh, he wanted me to play it straight, where everybody else was playing kind of a, a loose, kind of a Rocky Horror Picture Show kind of a attitude. Uh, kind of campy. Kind of campy, uh, but he, that's the way he wanted it. Uh, these people talking very, you know, kind of ditzy, kind of like... Uh, and I said it didn't, didn't it didn't seem like it fit in the part that I played because I played it straight as a as a killer, but that's the way he wanted it. And obviously it caught on because it, it became a, a, a real uh, uh, I guess a real you know uh, a, a, a cult film of the uh, of the ages. And that's oh no no doubt it's yeah. a cult film and yeah. uh, and like you say one one of the first of its kind exactly. or not the first of its kind. And uh, oh, one last thing well. Before we get to uh, what you're working on currently, but uh, uh, give us some ideas of the main ingredients for those effects. Uh, I, I think I'm, I'm assuming a lot of that was household items or uh, butchers, uh, uh, yeah. you know, stuff in the butcher store. And well, yeah, it was all, it was all parts of uh, the the leftovers over from chickens. Uh, you know, the, I guess uh, after uh, uh, whatever parts were left, chickens, uh, and uh, they they got some stuff in the slaughterhouse and. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't want to know where they got it from because I, I really. <laughs> and then we mixed it with the stage blood and some some uh, a red jello to make it a little thicker, and uh, uh, that's that's what we used. Uh, so it really was not, believe me, no human parts. Uh, all, all all animal parts. Just look as the, uh, that, that uh, looked like they were. But it looked good. It looked it looked real. It looked real. Everybody thought it was, and uh, it it, uh, it turned out that uh, every, no, nobody could tell the difference, and that was great. Well, I can imagine uh, the audiences that were seeing that sort of thing for the first time and right. their reactions to it. Yeah, exactly. But they never saw anything so graphic before. This is the first time they, they see it as a, 
uh, just out and out, because usually in most of the movies, years ago uh, when they had uh, movies in the, in the 40s where a person would get shot, you would never see blood anywhere. Right. You would never, you would never see bullet holes. They'd fall down and there was no blood, not a drop of blood. Right. Uh, then they moved into the part where they would get shot and you just see the bullet hole. Now they have it where you get shot and blood splatters all right. over the place. And <laughs> brains explode. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. So well, they, uh, I want to talk about uh, the what is it, the midnight midnight uh, drive-in. Right, and, uh, and tell us about that. And your all right, well, the midnight drive-in. Uh, of course, uh, James Young uh, uh, wanted me to audition for that because he heard of me and from Blood Feast and felt that I would fit in good in the in the film. I, I, it's not a major part, but it's a, it's a bit part, but uh, it it fits the kind of character that I play. Uh, uh, I still play a kind of possessed kind of a, a, a killer, so so to speak. And um, uh, I, I enjoyed enjoyed working with the with the cast members and and, and James and uh, uh, I, I I think the film's going to be a hit. Um, it's going to be for video. It's not going to go in theater, but uh, it uh, it's it's something a little bit different than I'm than I'm used to playing because this will be about the eighth film that I've made. I made throughout four three or four for for uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis. Uh, I made a, I made two or three for um, another film company. So this will be about the I think about the eighth film. That I made, and it's strictly for uh, uh, for video. And before I go, uh, any uh, future convention appearances you'd like to promote, and for people who didn't get to come to uh, Texas Fight Fair and see you? There's one coming up. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll be there yet or not, but there's one coming up in October in uh, Orlando. <coughs> it's like uh, also a a fright weekend. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I don't know if I'll be there, but I know Herschel Gordon Lewis will be there, and a few of the other top stars stars will be there. Uh, but I might be there. I still might end up uh, going there. It's in the, the Wyndham Hotel, Wyndham Resort Hotel in Orlando. It'll be, uh, I think, the October 9th, I think, the weekend of October 9th. So uh, I might be there. Great, great. Well, uh, we're looking out for you and sure. uh, certainly appreciate you spending the time with well, us today for well, deadpit.com. Well, thank you Mr. very Mal much. Mal Arnold. Yes, thank you. And uh, Texas Frightmare Week in 2009. We've had a great time and uh, stay tuned. Thank you very thank much. You so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.